Hello everyone, I'm Jay at Pangyo Techno Valley with Caroline from Vestella Lab. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Can you please introduce your company to us? What are you guys doing? Okay, uh, I'm Carolina, the global business leader of the company. Okay. So what's Vestella Lab? Vestella Lab INC is a pioneer in the smart parking and the autonomous driving um, industries. Okay. So um, we, we we have slogan easy to find, easy to park says we develop watch smile. This is our name, our product name uh, that address um, every problems in finding empty parking space. So um, we contribute to uh, smart parking through AI, okay. IoT and IoT, AIoT technology. Very cool. So I, I've uh I've heard of other companies and I've seen Autonomous Drive before and I believe we're already, being American, I've, I've seen that in the States being used regularly. So I, I have a familiar, familiarity with Autonomous Driving yeah. and I kind of understand smart parking, but tell us about your service. Um, actually, we are the world first smart parking navigation service. Why the world first? Because we develop a non-GPS technology. Why non-GPS? Because usually in indoor parking space or in the underground parking space, mm -hmm. we cannot get the GPS signal. Uh, that's why we develop non-GPS um, technology that guides drivers to the shortest empty parking space. Cool, so world first, <laughs> and as I said before, I've heard of autonomous driving, I've heard of smart parking, all this, but you're saying it's a non-GPS based solution. Yeah. So I hate that. I hate when I'm driving around and all of a sudden I reach like a no GPS area yeah. and my navigation cuts out, yeah. especially in parking facilities and such. So I understand yeah. your product and service. Can you tell me what makes it unique? Okay, what's uh, our product? Un why our product is unique? Because um, actually we develop the vision AI technology. Because usually in the parking lots, uh, the pre-installed CCTV cannot uh, just about the basic CCTV. So uh, uh, we use the pre-installed CCTV in ah. the parking lots to identify. Um, the parking status in real time. So, so you don't have to install, your product, your service can already go directly into these facilities because CCTV has, CCTV has already been installed. Yeah, that's I why see. we don't need to install additional hardware to uh, get to access the parking status in real time. It, cannot, it can decrease uh, the parking cost, uh -huh. uh, the, the, the parking management cost. cost yeah. right. So it can, it can decrease parking management costs because CCTV is already already installed in there, yeah. and your system and your solution just goes in there, and it's using AI video analyzation, analyzation yeah, right. data right. and technology to provide your service. Yeah. Okay, and and of course the other thing that you <laughs> unique is is of, you talked about your product and service from the beginning being non GPS, but I, I think that's also what makes it so unique. So it's a non GPS base that already goes into pre existing, yeah. uh, pre installed CCTVs. Yeah, pre installed CCTV. So we don't need to install additional hardware to access the parking status in real time. Okay. Yeah, we can provide parking status in real time to the parking manager uh -huh. or also to the drivers. So it's funny, this technology is, is so new to me, and as you said, it's a world first. I even just used the word again, GPS, yeah. and you told me already that it's a non-GPS based system. Yeah. So you have your own proprietary software and technology that's installed within the indoor environment yeah. that identifies the quickest space available. Yeah. Um, does availability, does it, can it work based off of needs? Say, say I'm disabled, will it identify disabled spots as well? Yep, um, actually we, uh, uh, we have uh, we have several uh, benefits. Okay. The first one, our solution is reduce the time in spending empty parking spot. The second one, um, uh, our solution is reduce the parking management cost because e everything is modi monitoring uh, through the smartly and digitally. Okay. And the last one, um, we use pre-install infrastructure uh, including CCTV or IoT parking uh, space. Uh, so I see. at least in the parking lots or parking spots have to install the CCTV camera 
So um, through the through the database through the CCTV camera, we mm. get the database and we an analyze the empty, which is uh, the empty and the field through our efficient AI technology. Okay, so you said efficient AI technology. Yeah, efficient this is AI. also, I think, a big thing now. Yeah. AI technology has been around um, in the general public public's view for a few years now, but you're specifically highlighting efficient AI technology. Yeah. While AI technology has been more efficient than humans for a while, it depends, uh, it, it, it works on gathering big sets of data, right? Yeah. But you're using CCTV technology and your own sensors and IoT and the new one, AIoT, yeah. um, IoT Internet of Things, AI, AIoT meaning the AI Internet of Things yeah. to quickly process the data, yeah. right? So it's not just about finding the parking spot, you can process other things going on in real time too, right? Yeah, in real time. Like if there's accidents in the parking facilities as well? Yeah, uh, um, sorry, accidents. If, if there's accidents, like someone like, uh, someone gets, uh, has, a, has, a, has a physical problem or an ailment or something happens within the parking facility that is unsafe, Okay. Uh, yeah, we develop uh, for for the for that product. Um, this is not Watchmile, but okay. uh, it's like um, yeah, coupled with Watchmile. We also develop the zero crossing technology okay. uh, to identify to uh, to 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 prevent uh, the. Um, to prevent the accident in the parking lot. Got it. Yeah. So you have two. You have, you have watch mile. And zero cruising. And zero cruising. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is this only installed in one facility? Can it work over multiple multiple facilities? Yep. So your technology works in multiple yeah. facilities, which reduces operation management yeah, cost. Right. Helps people find parking spots, which means I can already like imagine <laughs> the stress levels going down, reducing my stress, yeah. and uh, helps with a safer environment. Very cool. Okay, um, your target customers. Is it only used in public facilities? Can it be used in private facilities? Who's the target customers of your product? Uh, actually, service? our business model, uh, we, we have two kind of business model, B2B and B2G. Okay. Uh, so usually our target customer is uh, like the shopping mall. Okay. Or maybe um, airport, or maybe uh, in the apartment who has a huge parking, parking facility. Parking facility. Sure. Uh, so we, we can we can um, we can develop our solution in that kind of place. Okay, All right, so B two B two B being business to business, B two G being business to government. Yeah. So large facilities. Um, you can probably also kind of adjust this depending on like the day and yeah. And the, meaning the, I don't mean the day like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, Friday. I mean like public holidays or such, yeah. or when it could be more crowded. Yeah, more, parking areas can be more crowded. Correct. Yeah. Are you exporting your service abroad? Um, yeah, actually, uh, um, based on our domestic reference, we are trying to expand our process, and we have executed, uh, we have developed our our solution in Saudi Arabia, in the big, uh, big mall, big shopping mall in Saudi Arabia, and also one of the, in the parking lots in the LA, in the states. In, and, like in LA, in yeah. LA, Los Angeles, they yeah. need it more than I've been to LA. It's, it's a mess. Thank you. <laughs> okay. we, we need your product and service. Thank you. So Saudi Arabia, the US. Yeah, and also Indonesia. Okay, yeah. and Indonesia. Because I'm Indonesian, yeah. <laughs> I see. When you're saying you being Indonesian, you said Indo, Indo, in Indonesia, I feel that pride a little bit. I've lived here a while, but when you said in LA, I was like, yes, we need this. After yeah. uh, expanding abroad into Saudi Arabia and LA and Indonesia, I'm sure you use these as test markets as well. Yeah. Are you trying to go completely global? Are you trying to go throughout the whole US? Or what is your next target market? Uh, actually, our next target market, uh, we, we are focusing in the um, Southeast Asia, okay. such as Indonesia mm -hmm. and maybe um, Brunei. Okay. Also in the um, Saudi Arabia, uh, uh, UAE, and also in the States. Very cool. Yeah. I think maybe later Europe might need this as well. <laughs> Europe's, Europe's pretty yeah. crowded in certain areas too. <laughs> Well, tell me a little bit what took, it took to get your business started from the beginning. Did you guys do this with government grants? Did you do it with seed money? What did it take to get your business started and what are some future business plans? Um, actually, um, our future business plan, we are trying to develop full MAAS um, and we are trying to 
to to develop our solution globally, full globally. Full global, completely global. Yeah, in the next future. <laughs> what did it take to get you guys started? How, how did you start your business? Um, our CEO, uh, our CEO is um, expert in this business okay. area. That also our CEO has developed uh, success on in this kind of technology, and our CEO uh, um, understand what market needs uh, in in this um, in this complicated transportation problem, including in parking problem. So yeah, we start from this space to develop our solution. Very cool. An expert with technology, with the idea, and yeah. she knew the necessity for this type of thing. I mean, everything yeah. is you know, AI, <laughs> AI, AI, AI. And I've done some, I've been in autonomous driving cars, yeah. um, and I've done some exhibitions where there's a lot of autonomous driving technology, but you are the first I've ever heard of that <laughs> non-GPS space, which you said you're the world's first, so this makes complete sense. This is such a cool way to develop and use technology to help benefit uh, humanity. I mean, so many people are driving now. Yeah. Parking lots are just getting more and more crowded. Yeah. I think your technology and your solution sounds great. <laughs> My last question, yeah. you guys are here at Pang Pangyo Techno Valley. Yeah. What is the benefit of being here? Um, I think the the big benefit is about the networking. Sure. So, uh, through this, uh, through this, we can get a bigger, broader networking. How to how to expand our business and solution. Not only that, uh, the Pangyo location is near to Seoul, so I think we can get uh, more benefit through this. There you go. Location networking, <laughs> right? I yep. mean, so close to Seoul, but not exactly in Seoul, which is kind of nice. This area yeah. is so nice here, not as crowded. Yeah, uh, Pangyo is like new city. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's, be it's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> and of course, networking. <laughs> is there anything else, anything else you would like to add to our interview today, Caroline? Um, I think we covered it. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we covered it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Caroline with Vestella Lab. Thank yeah. you so much for your time today. I really appreciate okay, it. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>